Okay, uh, re trying to recreate the tier list everything was not the best thing I could have done. Couldn't rip it from the hard drive, but here we are nonetheless, and this time we're focusing on green units, so... Yay! I think. Welcome to the next edition of a One Hour with Sages and Jay. No, no, that's... <laughs> please, no. Alright, so let's start off with the first unit since we can, and that is, of course, Anna. Anna's one of the free units you can get, and she's She's decent. a plus. Huh? Yeah, that's where I was going to put her, because she can be pretty good as an axe unit, and she will definitely take you very far if you decide to at least get her up there and give her some she, good skills. She's actually tied with Katarina, when it, uh, not Katarina, sorry, Athena, in terms of speed when it comes to neutral, for the second highest speed of the game. Um, her attack is kind of like Ruster, but she comes with a legendary weapon, which patches that a bit. Yeah. I forget. Hers is that. Isn't that the one that has Wings of Mercy on it? I, I forget if that's exactly what that was, or if I'm... It's funny, because you actually made that a trivia question. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. That is, in fact, what her ability is. Go team. <laughs> I'm really smart. Alrighty. Anna, good, good, good time. Now, not so good time. Here's Arthur. Here's Arthur. Arthur, he's our... Our fresh face baby with the worst art in- I'm kidding, not the worst art. The most out of place art. The art is great, but, you know, compared to, uh, a lot of the other art, not the best. I consider him B tier, just yeah. because he has okay attack, his speed is like Luster, his death is decent, his res is eh. Eh. Like, he has, like, really nothing that really shines. Well, you know, he has superhero poses when he uses what, uh, special skills. Um, the most powerful of weapons. The only thing that really comes out of him, honestly, just, I mean, people use him for Lance Breaker, and that's yes. unfortunately the only thing he's really known for. And because the only other unit that gives Lance Breaker is Narsian, so uh, have fun waiting, uh, like, what, two months in between Narsians that you can get? Maybe. Yep. <laughs> I mean, Narsen gives uh, Lensbreaker 3 at 4 star, which Arthur doesn't. He gives Lensbreaker 2 at 4 star. Yeah. But uh, Lensbreaker 2 is farm. It, it, it's still enough, for the most part. Yeah. And next up, after that, after our good friend Arthur, is, of course, Barst. Honestly, he was, like, between here for me. But I've seen people rate him as high as A+, which is an oddity to me, but... Uh, yeah, so I rank him an A. Yeah. Uh, I rank him an A+. Plus. He can be a really fast, brave the the brave axe user that actually hits pretty hard. Yeah. But there's so many more units that does that better, like Raven, Legion, Yeah. When it, when it comes to axe units, he just gets outmatched in a lot of ways. You know, Funny. Um, Frederick. Like, <laughs> it, it's ridiculous. Like... One third of the axe unit are basically brave axe units because everything else, like any other weapon on them, is just kind of lackluster. That's yeah. just because I mean, how many, how many actually uh, actual axe unit unit have legendary weapon? There's Minerva, there's Zector, there's um, uh, Michaelis. Yeah, Michaelis has one, I believe. Uh... Zed actually. And, uh, well, I, I was about to say Legion, but his, his is, uh, ex you know... Yeah, it's inheritable. So there's literally three unit with 16 might weapons. Does Anna's have 16 might, or is that wrong? Oh, right, Anna is actually one of them as well, so... Yeah, four. Oh. Yeah, that, I mean, in comparison, when you go and look at red, red sword units who have rare, <laughs> you know, like, exclusive red weapons. Is, red is, like, legendary weapon everywhere. It's Pretty ridiculous. much. That's that's just what they do. They like what's this? A new red unit? Here he goes. He has a legendary weapon. Hooray! And honestly, <laughs> if you happen to have a Minerva, chances are you're probably not going to be using any of these. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Basically. And then you just have like tome users that basically there's only one that has a unique weapon. Yeah. Like... And the other one that just has raw stats, if I recall correctly. Next up is Bartre. Bartre, our good old st mustachioed friend. I want to put him in B myself, because that's that's where I put him, usually. Surprisingly enough, he's an A-tier unit. Really? Yep. Uh, because he can, he, he can also run a Brave Axe! Oh, of course. Because he has 36 attack and 33 defense. He's basically, uh... 
almost A+. plus. He's basically Frederick level almost. Frederick is A+, plus, but just barely. <laughs> okay, well then how about Baruka? I'd say A myself, but... I actually... F funny thing is, I actually... Um, I, I, I participated in the voting count, like basically anyone. But there's someone that actually had a Baruka that was 5 star plus 10. What? Jesus. It's that thing was ridiculous. I literally just sit her there and it's like Ryoma attacks her for two damage, then seal attack procs, and basically when I initiate, it's just Ryoma's like zero times two. Oh boy, my damage is so great. <laughs> and, then with, and then her A skill is armored, armored blow, which makes. Uh, it's, it's ridiculous. Like, you see her having 51 defense when she initiates. She's now S+. Plus. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> and it's just like, she procs Ignis, which she has a killer weapon for, so that's yep. kind of convenient. Yep. She just fucking procs for 40 damage every time. She just one shot at a Ryoma. Yeah, god lord. I, that, some people can be really creative. Other times, uh, it's not as creative. <laughs> The fun part is I actually ranked Baruka as C beforehand because I'm. It's not a character I actually uh, really tested out. Yeah, I mean, I'm. You know, she's she can be a pretty tanky character if you build her correctly. Yeah, now it's like, oh my god, you're actually good. <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing how the meta changes when you think about it at the start. Alrighty, next up, we have B as in Bowie. Oh, this poor, poor man. I wanted him to be good, but he is, unfortunately. Yeah, I, I still rank him as A. Yeah, I mean... Because, he, like, he has his use. He's basically a tank when it comes to dealing with archers, especially, especially archers. Like, brave bow user have trouble taking him down. Yeah, he's, he's decent enough to handle that. I just, you know, for something that... I don't know what I was expecting, honestly, because even in uh, Shadows of Valentia, he's just... He's not the most amazing either. Like he, he does his job, but he, you know, he's he he's honestly the most representative character I can think of when it comes to actual, actual, you know, character to heroes because he it, retains a lot of what he had previously. It's it's really hard to actually make a mage tank that really works without like ampering him from something. Like yeah, Sophia is like a great example of a tank mage, but. Uh, once she's out of quick repost, if you do not have a healer, she's she kind of falls off. Yeah, she you need her to you need someone who can at least restore the ranks a bit. Um, and like and Bowie I, has such poor res that like even Reinhardt can just body him despite color disadvantage. It's stupid. <laughs> but then again, Reinhardt can do that in some regards too. Just uh, I don't know. I don't want to talk about Reinhardt. Alrighty. <laughs> Next up is our good oh boy, um, good friend Camilla. Oh, your favorite. Honestly, I I kind of want to rate her A plus, but I don't think she's quite there. I don't uh, know. I rank her as A. Yeah. Like that's... she she can work and she can be an insane tank. My, mine is death plus, so she gets thirty one defense and thirty one res. Mm -hmm. Um, like if I had. Fortify defense at 37 in both stats. If I had Fury, that's 40 in both stats. She can be really tanky, but then her damage is kind of subpar unless you get an attack plus, which I don't consider Ivy, so you know. With attack plus, she could be considered A plus, though. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. It, it, I guess we're not going to go with too much because, like, an attack plus is, like, you know, a bit more on the rare side, I would say, you know. Not yeah. like that, but if you get, like, attack plus and, like, a Bane and something else, it's not going to be that fun. It, it would need to be, if for me, it would she would need to have a little, you know, a little bit more stats um, to actually be a bit more viable when it comes down to actual flying units. Because, again, yeah, she's, she's, you know, she's participating in the same kind of game with other flying units who do it better. I mean, there's Minerva right there. <laughs> yeah. What? Speaking of Camilla, Bunny Camilla. Here, Spring Camilla. <laughs> I, I was considering moving her down to S just so we didn't have her right next to herself, but she's she's actually one of the otter units where she is actually participating 
in the same color spectrum as her normal original unit, which is weird, but, you know. Uh, uh, no, I consider him, uh, her A+, plus purely yeah. because... Flyer support is a thing. Well, no, I was saying that. I was saying that it's kind of weird to have her right next to each, herself because, like, yeah. old Crom is red normally, then Bunny Crom is you know green, and then you know Xander is oh, red normally, yeah. and then blue. But anyways, yeah, she she's actually a lot better as <laughs> as a magic user, which it's is so funny. ridiculous. Like you give her a Blar Blade, Iota Shield, and then what's her what's her face? Um, mm. uh, Vantage. Yeah, and then it's just like, oh, you attack me, you die. Not only that, but if you actually put her in a flyer emblem team, she's actually the first ever tome-based flying unit in the game. Who knew? And she's not bad at all. Like, yeah, she's, she's really good at backstab. <laughs> she's pretty good. She's she's definitely one of the best. You know, I guess putting a bunny bunny ears on Camilla made her a little bit better. Next up, hey look, it's Cecilia. Um, Which. Is which she is exactly in the same boat as Bunny Camilla. Yeah, pretty much. They have almost the same stats. It's just one's a horse and the other one's flying. Woo yeah. I mean, they move far. They new card if you uh, build them correctly. She, you know, Cecilia is, you know, of course, as we always go along when it comes to tier list, we don't really count team makeup too much, guys, usually. You know, we, we do... I in a little uh, bit, but like if we were gonna yeah. if we were gonna go with horse emblem, she'd probably be like right at the top. I mean, if I would consider team composition, we would have like ten S plus character <laughs> just because it's it's that ridiculous. Like Cordelia go Cordelia would I actually ranked up to S in my own tier list. Um would be like S plus easily. Like Yeah. I mean, just give her three goat, and our base stats is 47 attack and 47 speed without any buff. What? Well, without any buff. With buffs, but without weapons. Yep. Or eight skills. It's stupid. <laughs> yeah, I mean, jeez. Okay, next up, Shershi, as you can see here. Uh, I would say A+, plus myself, but some people yes. rank her S, so... I rank her as A+, plus as well. Uh, the main reason... Yeah, the main reason I, can, I consider her A+, plus and not S, is just because... She's lacking on one big department. Res mm -hmm. and speed. Yeah. She has, like, mine is an attack plus speed minus, so it's kind of uh, already stacked against her, but uh, she's sitting at 20 speed. Yeah. She hits really hard when she attacks, but she has troubles with red, obviously, and uh, some green, like, possibly, uh, what's his face? Uh, Ector can survive her. Yep. Like, I mean, she she can be a powerhouse, but I don't think she's yeah. S plus. I mean, I mean yeah. S, not S plus, but S tier. Well, like above. with, though I will say something. Hmm? She's strong enough that if she would be attack plus, then yes, I will consider her S. Yeah. But uh, if if I'm considering neutral IVs, she's A plus. Yeah. I mean, that stat spread is going to take a bit to actually get if you do get lucky. Granted. Thankfully for her, she's a lot more common of a unit. Yeah, though I'll be honest, if I'm going to use a Brave Axe unit, I'd use Raven over her. <laughs> we'll get into Raven in a second, but first up yeah, is Legion. from Spring Version. Well, talking about Raven, let's talk about Raven here. This is essentially a Raven, <laughs> except he has three less speed. Oh, or, boy. I know they have like really close stats. Let me actually just verify. Let's see. Um, on the stat stats, uh, like I have the stat spreads for most characters right here. Um, he has Raven, thirty-four attack and thirty-five. Yeah, he has he has a uh, thirty. Uh, normal Crom has thirty-two speed normally, and uh, Raven has thirty-five. So he's three less speed than most. Um, than than those two at least. Uh, What's the attack for uh, Bunny for Crom? Crom? Uh, for Bunny Crom, he has more attack. Really. 35 attack, I'm guessing. 35 attack. Barely more attack, yeah. but more yeah, attack. Barely attack. Like, if you have a speed plus Bunny Crom, he's better than, um, what's his <laughs> face, uh, Raven. Yeah. If he if he has, like, neutral in both, but... I actually see him as A plus, just because... Yeah, I see him as A plus. Raven is a bit better, and I consider him S tier, but he's barely S tier. Yep. Like, he used to be top of A plus for me. <laughs> Oh my god. Slightly increased him, essentially. <laughs> yeah. 
Because uh, people just get mad at me that I put Legion at S, but then Bunny Crumb, uh, not Bunny Crumb, Raven at A+. Plus. I, I still see Legion as S. We're going to get into him when we get yeah. to him, but, um, you know, Crom and Raven, they're both pretty, you know, stable, I would say. They're really close to each other, so if you happen to have one or the other, granted, you know, Spring Crom's, of course, a rarity. Uh, yeah. Raven will probably do just better <laughs> because you can get a lot more of him. Um, Especially since you have an easier time getting better IVs, you know. Yeah. One you just can't get better IVs. <laughs> One you're just stuck with unless you got really good IVs from the onset. Uh, next up we have Faye. Or oh, Fa in her Japanese. Um, I honestly, this is a character that I really don't know how to put her. I rank her as A, but at the same time, like, I can see people ranking her as A+. plus. The main reason why I rank her as A is just because she has trouble with, like, she struggle with the main things. Well, yeah. Like, Nino is obviously going to body her, even though she's a rest tank, because... Yeah, it, I mean... And then you have, uh, what's her, what's this, what's her face? Um... Julia that has Naga, then Falcon <laughs> user also are torn in her side. Like yeah, that's 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 the one problem with Faye is that she has such a disadvantage when it comes to because all the sword units are of course you know all the big big name Falchion users are going to just dis destroy her. Sadly, only one of the Falcon user can really use Falcon property or yeah, actually, maybe two with Alm if you use him as a heal tank. Eh, I, I still see her as being quite decimated by any real Fauci user. Oh, and it doesn't really help that her speed is so subpar. Like, she's yeah. sitting... She's basically a worse Titania, let's just put it this way. <laughs> Pretty much. The, like, Titania is literally the same defense in Res, except she's on a horse, yeah. and she does not have to deal with Vulcan, so, you know. That's a plus. Yeah, I don't, I don't understand, Faye. I'm... <laughs> Just to give you guys an idea before we start this video, I actually forgot Faye existed. Like, I was looking over all the portraits that I got, and I was like, someone's <laughs> missing here. I was like, hmm. And I went and looked at it, and I'm like, wait a second, Dragonstones. Oh, right. Faye. And, and like, a few nights ago, I was just thinking, man, it would be really cool to add to Heroes a green Dragonstone <laughs> user. <laughs> But then I was like, oh, okay, yeah, that's right. All right, moving on. Frederick. Um, people a seem... Yeah, A+. Plus. Uh, easy A+, plus because, well, he's he's actually a fairly good unit. Bravex user there. Yeah. Again. Yep. Like, because he has 35 attack on top of 36 death. Yep. So, you know, like, she's essentially... Sh uh, she? Okay, she. I guess Frederick's a female now. I mean... Uh, but, uh... <laughs> No, what I what I meant is um, he is essentially a Cherche with three less uh, God damn it, three less speed probably attack. I, attack. I, oh, okay, because I know uh, his speed isn't that great. Both well, both Cherche and Frederick's speed are just pure yeah. ass. Let's yeah. be real. Um, I, and th both that and the resistance, of course, but, I, you know. <laughs> I see sure she is a bit better than Frederick, purely because they both have the same problem, speed and res. Speed but, res. Uh, uh, sure she can kill straight up without taking damage faster, whereas, like, Frederick will not get the kill sometimes, and it, that means retaliation. Yeah. And while it's true that sure she has 32 death, and Frederick's sitting at fucking 36 for some reason... Uh, it's still she. He still gets whittled down. I I mean he he's you know again, he's one of those lucky characters that happens to be on a horse right now, and so he gets yeah, a little basically. bit of an advantage when it comes yeah, to if that. You, if you went on a horse, you would you would do so much worse. <laughs> Pretty much, honestly. I mean, I I feel like a lot of that comes from just having the ability to use a horse. Over everything else. Speaking of horse and a, and an axe unit. Wait, wait a second. Frederick is an axe unit. That's so odd to me. I mean, oh, why? I don't. Re I don't remember him using that at all in Awakening. I thought he started off oh. with a spear. I forget. 
But I think he had the class that could use it, so... Yeah, he was a great knight. Great knight can use everything. Yep. Alright, moving on. Gunter. Um, he, he's Gunter is like a lesser Frederick. Yeah. Like, I would say B. Because... Yeah, I consider him B as well. Like, I, I mean, I can see people using him as A. Yeah. But the, the main problem with this is just the fact that... While he can be used as a unit, he's also a veteran. Yeah, so. he, when he, which he's means, a veteran and he's on a horse. That means like ten stats is gone or something. Yeah, like. pretty much. It, that's why like Jaegen always kind of confuses me. Him and Jaegen are like those weird, like oh well, me too. I'm an older man who happens to you know be on a horse, so therefore my stat pool is terrible. Yep. I don't understand it, which which is weird considering he's still below he's still above Arthur, which I guess is a good thing for him considering. It's funny because he said like I'm gonna put him in B and then put him in A. Wait, I put him in A. Whoops. Oh boy, I'm not paying attention. <laughs> okay, well there we go, back where he belongs. All right, that's actually I was looking at that and going, wait a second. <laughs> Anyways. Also, yeah, you've seen I haven't put anyone in the S plus and S tier. There's really not that many unit that goes in S and S plus tier. There's uh, six Three. unit in S and one in S plus. Yeah, the unfortunate thing is, there's just not enough units, and the few units that are good are usually the one with unique weapon. Which guess yep. how many there is in this tier? A whooping four. <laughs> we already have one on the board. Here's uh, Hawkeye. Poor poor oh, Hawkeye. Hawkeye. Okay. Hoo hoo. Yeah. Um, B tier. Yeah. yeah. Here. Yeah, that's where I was gonna put him because I no, know. Actually, I mean, me he has 33 attack and 28 death, 30 res. He, no, I would put him in A. Oh, okay. Yeah, I did put him in A, but barely. Like he's at the bottom. Yeah, I would. I, I was gonna say if he's anywhere in B, he would be like right at the at the tipping point from A to B. Yeah. He's he yeah. just has you know he's kind of an unfortunate character in some ways. His speed is yeah. terrible. Like, he has terrible speed, he has good death, good res, good attack, and then too much HP that could have been put in speed to make him decent. But, yeah. You know. He, he unfortunately, yeah, I mean, health doesn't really matter too much when you get doubled every... Yeah, exactly. That's the kind of thing I see, like... It, it, it's just like Minerva versus Michaelis. Well, Michaelis has three more defense. But... Well, yeah, yay. but... Minerva has like 33 speed at base, with speed plus that's 36, with life and death that's 41. Yeah, it's I just, poor, poor unfortunate soul. Speaking of a, a much loved character that eventually dies, spoiler alert, here's Hector. Ranked him as an S. Yeah, I, 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 don't, I don't see him as an S+. Plus. Unfortunately, I don't really see much in the way of S+, plus when it comes to green units. There's only one that I consider S+, plus, and she barely makes the cut, in my yeah. opinion. I mean, I guess we can obviously say why Hector is S, and that is simply yeah. put. He has it's... great counter ability, he's, you know, he's strong. Yeah, like, he's a solid counter, he's pretty good against, like, anything I... that's melee unit. Yeah, Armand, However... Armand's gives him what, Quick Repost? Yeah, Quick Repost 2 and 16 might, so... Mm -hmm. It's pretty solid. It's a solid set, and I can definitely see why pre, uh, I was going to say pre-evolution of combat, god damn it, RuneScape, um, <laughs> pre-skill pre inheritance, inheritance yeah. like, he was really solid because this kit was just really, really good for him. Mm -hmm. Except gold armor, which was basically a wasted slot for the most part, but yeah, l l like uh, for I mean... everything else, he was really solid. Yep. But after skill inheritance, it's just like a lot of red unit can just run around KO him. My Corin hits him for 34 times 2 when he's death plus. Like, the, the fuck are you gonna do? My Corin can kill a plus 6 Hector. Yeah. And, wow, it's ridiculous. <laughs> and even pre inheritance, you could just like sit a red unit in front of him and it's just like, ah, shit, I fucked. Because my quick repose won't work. Yeah. Like, He's not a bad unit. He's really solid, and I can definitely see why people think he's solid. But is poor res? I don't. I don't think he's like right up. I, I don't think he's like you know in the 
stratosphere with S plus on uh, honestly, but then again, that's also because green units just lack a lot of. Yeah, of... most green unit lack tools, and there's just really not many. Like there's Nino, there's Julia, there's Soren, there's Hector, there's Legion now, yep. and Raven, and then there's Minerva. And, and, and then here, after... speaking of, is Julia. Oh well, S tier. Yep, S tier. She has I'll, a unique weapon. Um, she can be a pretty fantastic mage. I'll probably say things that uh, will make some people question me when I when we get to soaring toward Julia. But uh, yeah, yep. <laughs> Don't have to spend too much time on uh, Julia. We, I mean, Naga's yeah. great, and she's a good mage. That's really I mean, all you need. She has a ton of res, and once she gets attacked, she gets two res and two death, which yep. is which is actually pretty goddamn handy when dealing with stuff like Reinhardt. Yep. She could handle Reinhardt pretty well. And after that, of course, we also have Lee, our newest member, Legion, who S -tier. I put in S tier as well because he just has, you know, if you build him correctly, he can destroy pretty well. 36 attack and 35 speed is beyond solid. It's yeah. it those stats like are better than uh, the offensive stat than a Lucina, which is S tier in fucking red sword unit. The only thing is he doesn't get a 16 might weapon. Yep. So that's a bit of a problem, and you need to build him up with most likely a brave axe. What a surprise, am I right? Yeah, <laughs> everyone loves brave weapons. Yeah, basically, with like life and death and buffs, he, he hits 38 speed with a brave axe on top of like up to 50 something attack. Like, yeah, it, it's pretty damn solid. He's he's a great unit, and uh, you know, not only that, he he has an inbuilt fury, which is great. He doesn't have to worry about that. Yeah. So, you know, as, uh, when he when you get him from you know whatever, if you got him, uh, he will definitely be an easy to use unit I think um, he is he is like I mean the the main problem that really uh, that, that Legion has is the fact that he is his hacks is kind of like it, it's not awful but yeah it doesn't work well with his stats yeah it doesn't because either a you're gonna be killing the enemy or if you're not killing the enemy you're doing something wrong basically yeah, but, I mean that's basically it. Like, oh, what's this? A horse cavalier? Well, if I don't, if I actually get the hit on it, it's dead. Period. Like, yeah. wh what the fuck do you think will happen? Reinhardt has a ton of death, but he's blue dead. Uh, Leo, Leo might actually survive. But Leo I might mean, survive, yeah, but even but then, I mean, with a brave axe, he gets quad, so most likely dead because Raconic Aura will proc. Yep. <laughs> it's. Like, Panic would not help. Yeah, Panic is just... I mean, it works a little bit more on things like Ploy and stuff like that. You know, it makes sense yeah. to me. Yeah, panic Ploy works really well, but at the same time, it's kind of hard to work. Yeah. Because it's that kind of move that you kind of need to have the, wor the, the map working with you to make it work. Yeah, but the thing is, in weapon form, I just don't see it outside of maybe yeah, like a ranged... It's Ability. In, weapon, in, in weapon form, unless the weapon has like 16 might, it's just... Nice. It's yeah. Alright, moving on, we have Merrick. He's B. You know? I think he's B myself, but... Uh, he's a better Bowie. <laughs> yeah. A bit better of Bowie? Really? Huh. Yeah, because he's essentially Bowie, but like with 5 more speed. Uh, uh, he gets a bit less defense, but I mean... He has the same HP as Bowie, so he can use Earth Boost just as well as Bowie does, so... I forget, is Excalibur exclusive to him? Yes, yes. it is. There's another that's, exclusive weapon. Yeah, it's another... I actually completely forgot this, because Merrick is so forgettable because of his 4 <laughs> I I'm kind of really disappointed that Excalibur was used on him, but oh well. Yeah, me too. Like, especially with a character like Tobin. Like, come on now! <laughs> Well, not Tobin. Well, actually, I'm not too sure it's been so long. Yeah, I, d I don't know. Merrick, Merrick is a weird one. He's he's a little bit more tanky, you know, of a mage, but eh, I don't really... Like, he's a slightly less bulky than Bowie, but he has more speed, meaning he gets doubled less, so... Yeah. That me that's why I consider him a bit better. Like, 
when he was released, I was like, okay, this this banner is essentially worst Linde, worst Merrick, <laughs> uh, be, best best Red Tome user, and then Jenny, that's basically father. Yes. <laughs> and next up, Nicholas. Nicholas, Nicholas A+. Plus. Yeah. He is a slightly, I mean, he, he's a lot like his sister, but unfortunately he does not meet his sister's uh, stat, stat boosts and I'll say two general things. usage. Beruka can be a better tank than uh, Michaelis. Yeah. However, Michaelis comes with a 16 mic weapon with killer axe effect, so that's the main reason why he's kind of better. Though yeah. with death boss, you can really use Veroka a bit better than, than Michaelis, because getting hit for for something, you will like... Uh, Michaelis will take 10 more damage, because in both cases they're going to get doubled, no matter what. They have very poor speed. So, with their death, like, the death difference between death plus Veroka and Michaelis is 5. Meaning, <laughs> Michaelis will take 10 more damage every encounter. So Baruka is a better tank. Yeah. But, but Michaelis... Uh, Michaelis is more consistent in form of killing. It, in, in a sense, Baruka is like the best tank, and then you have Minerva that's like the best offensive like flyer. Yeah. Axe. And then you have Michaelis that's basically in the middle. Yep, pretty much. I, 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 I think he ha you know, he has his unique little passive and all this other stuff. He's he's interesting, but like if you have Minerva, chances are you'll probably just want to go with her. Right. Minerva, Minerva is just so good. Yeah, when anyone when anyone asks me, is Michaelis so any good? Should I replace him with Minerva? You know, replace you know Minerva with him? I'm like, no, <laughs> no. You know, yeah. brother and sister, sure, but I think the sister's unfortunately better. But Michaelis does really well if you do decide to use him. Mine is even better because mine is a death plus HP minus Minerva. She has a bit less HP than Michaelis, but she has literally the same defense. And around the same res. My god. But the thing is, she has like nine more speed. <laughs> yep. <laughs> oh my god. Speaking of Minerva, here's Minerva. Oh. She's the one unit I actually ranked in S+. Yeah, I, I put her up pretty highly there because she is... The, the reason why I rank her in S+, plus is actually you can kill Ector with her. Yep. Very easily. Purely with Draconicora and light like, buffs. Yep. Uh, uh, on top of it, she's actually really bulky for a unit. Yeah, even, even with life and death. Yeah. Like my Mik my Mikaels, my Minerva is death plus, granted, mm -hmm. but with life and death, she still has thirty defense. I mean, I I use Minerva. <laughs> I, I use Minerva with pretty much every you know. Whenever I get the chance and I need a strong green unit, I don't usually go for Hector. I actually go for Minerva more often than not, unless yeah. of course I need to bait something, you know. Yeah. And, but like there is that type of unit that you can use for um more like you would not be able to really use Hector for the Legion map. Yeah. But you could definitely use like Hector for most GHB that are just like five unit in in particular. Yeah. You just can't it's just not the type of unit that has uh, that can really survive for a long time. Like he's bulky. I I'll I'll agree with this. But due to his uh, pure lack of speed, that means he gets attacked twice before he gets his second hit and then kill. Yeah. Meaning, like, his first fight, he gets hit twice, which, shit, uh, that's already maybe off of his health gone. Yeah. Not all, uh, that's not always the case, but, like, that can happen. It's kind of bad in that, in that sense. Yep. Like, he can do really well in, like, one map's wonder. Like, I used him on all of my backup team in uh, Tempest Rock. Well, I mean, you, you know, Hector's great, but, you know, I still think Minerva is just the only, you know... Of course, people are going to point out in the comments that she's a flying unit and she has archer problems, but she still has <laughs> incredible stat gains, even it's as... It's funny, because uh, if you give her Fury, she can tank arrows, so... Yeah. Uh... I, I mean, life, death, fury, whichever one you want. The, the one thing is, she wouldn't take Brave Bow, but then again, how many units can tank Brave Bows? Yeah, that's like, a lot like how people go and say, well, you know, against Horse Emblem, my, you know, Minerva will melt. Well, yes, every unit melts. <laughs> yeah, yeah, basically. But, I mean, Minerva's biggest problem is that her res is fairly low. Yeah. Uh, sitting at 22, 17 with life and death. Yep, that's, that's the greatest. 
Like that's really our only problem. So as long as you take, uh, as you are cautious, cautious, and just take her away from mages, you'll be fine. And even mages, sometimes she can actually take. Yeah, a hit. I, I've had, I've had her tank mages before too. So. Like Reinhardt, Reinhardt will always kill her. That's that's a problem. <laughs> but I mean, mainly because that's probably mainly because mine is HP minus, so that's four less HP. Um, yeah. But I mean. Even with that problem, though, you can just bait Reinhardt, and if you're the one attacking, Reinhardt dies. Yep. Well, you it's, know. It's, a, it's that kind of situation that happens with mages. You either one-shot them, or you're, or you're the one getting one-shot with Minerva. You yeah. just have to be careful with position. With position. Right. <laughs> I can't it's, t it's time to move on. We, need, we can't <laughs> spend all day on uh, Minerva. Next up is Narcian, the poor, poor guy. Uh, a lot of a lot of the green grand battle heroes outside of Legion just kind of got the short end of the stick, don't you think? Oh, uh, they did, they did. Legion was like, I'm like, oh, that's an axe unit, and then I looked at the um, at his stats on the on the final map you fight them, and then I'm like, okay, that's a bit too much BST. I think he was like sitting at 198 BST or 184, one or one of the two. So I'm like. Okay, so let's say we remove 7 in all stats, that's still 34 attack and 33 speed. Yeah. He's probably gonna be solid anyway. And, and then, then we have uh, Narcy. Yeah, and then there's Narcy on the other end of the spectrum that's just like, I'm a little shithead! Pretty much, I mean, one thing He's... that, I, you know, Narcy and, and Female Robin kind of came out the same sort of way. They both, you know, they had weaker Grand Hero battles, and... Because of that, I feel like in general, their unit, uh, them as a unit, ha are kind of pretty bad too. It's funny also because it's like, oh, they came out with GHB and what's their use? Well, they're used as fodder. Uh, yeah, but pretty much. Narcine's like only good for Lancebreaker if you really want to use it. Yeah. And then you have uh, what's what's his face, uh, Robin F, that comes with Blue Tone Breaker. And yeah. guess who? Uh, guess how many unit has that? None. One. Except her. It's the only her. Is the only her? It's the only one that has it. That has yeah. it. Like. Yeah. Poor, poor Narcian. Next up, though, we have uh. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> that, that's not what I wanted to do. Oh boy. That might be a little bit bigger than it should be, but uh, here's uh Nino. She's she's adorable and she'll do her best. Do her best. Uh. And I I, I, I say yeah. ass because you know she. Yeah. Yep, I ranked her as us as well. She's actually the best green mage currently, in my opinion. Yeah. Purely so, because she's actually... I think she's the only green mage that's actually speedy. Yeah, she, wow. she's, she's incredibly fast. She has a blade tome. And she'll do her best. I'm kidding. Um, Like, with, with speed plus, she hits 39 speed without any A skill buffing this. It's ridiculous. And the, she's, like, the, she's the only green mage that doesn't... You know, she's up in S tier without an exclusive weapon, like an actual legendary, which is good. Uh, actually, no. Soren is also S. What? Okay, we're going to have to have a fight here when we get yeah. to that one. You no, know, I know. A lot of people won't really agree with me, but uh, <laughs> Soren's stats are more be much better than they look like at first glance, in my opinion. But there you go. Yeah, th thanks. Uh, we've already gone over Raven <laughs> before. So you know where he goes. He goes in A plus because why not? Uh, Raven is S. S. Yeah, basically because he's so close to Legion, I rank both of them as S. Uh, okay, fine. You can have that one. Like to give you an idea, the difference between Legion and Raven is two attack. That's it. Oh, alrighty then. They're next, that close. Next up is Robin, and right down B B tier. Have fun. Uh, I ranked her as A purely because she can be used as the same way as Robin Mail is. Yeah, but you know what I say? No. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care about like she just like the, the main problem with her is she takes she requires a lot of building. Yeah. And she's still underwhelming in the end. Like yeah. well, she's still a tank against any colorless in blue unit mm -hmm. purely because TA ground uh, ground uh, ground raven because. The stat of Robin F and Robin Male are literally the same. Yeah. One percent the same. The only thing is Robin Male can have IVs. <laughs>
which is unfortunate for her, but I still don't see her as being that great, but I'm going to disagree with you on that one. Um, okay. <laughs> sorry. Uh, next up is I'm gonna punch you. Sheena. <laughs> Sheena. Uh, I ranked her as A+. plus. Yeah, that's where I put her, too. Um, she Just... does... She she has 36 defense, but on top of that 36 defense, she has 33 res. Yeah, she's she is a literal wall in a lot of ways. Yeah, she's so bulky, and then on top of that, she comes with 45 armor, which is pretty useful. Uh, I have five of her on my alt, so I just gave four, uh, 45 armor to my Effie, and now she's sitting... Oh, by the way, the one I have is death plus HP minus, of course. Of course. <laughs> So she's like she's like sitting in there at forty five defense and thirty nine res. So she doesn't get much she doesn't get much action. She just kind of sits there and goes, "What was that tickling?" Yeah, and then she I gave her Ignis. So uh, of course uh, that it turns into fiery passion. Let's just say this. All right. Well, now it's time to throw down the gauntlet and begin the the utmost of the fighting. It is Soren. Okay, so, so explain to me in three words or and no, I'm kidding. Explain to me why he is S. I know that he's A plus for me, but you know, or, like oh. Soren and Julius stats are really close. Uh, to give you an idea, he has two less HP. Oh. Two uh, same defense, two less re uh, three less res, uh, and two less attack. However, he has seven more speed, which actually makes him sitting at 33 speed neutral. Um, so he, he is really close to Julia. He's basically Julia, but a bit less bulky. Yeah. But speedier. Okay. Of course, he's worse than Nino. However, yeah, with well, it, you know, he's we... actually really usable. Yeah, when compared, we can't really compare him to Nino because Nino's just, you know. I mean, if I compare her to Nino, you know what? Yeah. He has the same attack as Nino and three less speed as Nino. That's that's about it. That's that's just how little difference he has over Nino. I mean, give give him a uh, Grand Blade or something else, and he'll probably soar. Then I guess. Yep. I'll let except, you have that S. God damn it. Except here's the thing: he has more res than Nino, so he's a bit bulkier and can actually deal with Reinhardt easier because he also has a bit more HP. Yeah. So I mean, he's kind of in the middle between Julia and Nino. I consider her uh, consider him very slightly better than Julia. Yeah. But like at the same time I can kind of see people putting them equal purely because Julia Stone gave her plus 2 death and res when she's the one being attacked. Yeah. Which it has to the bulk thing. <laughs> All right. Well, I'll I'll let you have Soren and S. I mean, I I'll, I'll I I guess if he's that close stat-wise, I haven't actually looked at his stats in a long time, so, you know, I could very well be just like, oh man, nah. I kind of just go, glimpse over their stats and go, yep, here, 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 and there. But I say A+, plus, but S seems pretty decent enough for him. Like, he's, like, he's about the same level as Julia, let's just put it this way. Yeah, and Julia is there for a reason. <laughs> yep, Julia is ridiculously good. I have her on my alt, and... My old steam is Reinhardt, Julia, Corin, Mel, and then Ninian, yeah. and it runs perfectly. I've cleared Legion on Infernal with it. I've cleared every GHB on Lunatic with it. It's ridiculous. Yep. Alrighty then. Now it's time for the last character that we have. It's Titania. Oh really? We're done? Yep. That was fast. Yep. Um, we're Titan at 40 minutes, by the way, just so we're clear. It's not fast at all. <laughs> You, you go, man, that's fast, but then I look down at the timer and I'm like, mm, nope. Well, shit. Yep. Well, um, I, I rank Titania as A, but really at the bottom of A. Yeah. Purely because she's essentially, uh, she actually has decent bulk. But uh, on top of that bulk, she also has to reach for speed. Uh, a main issue is the fact that her attack is very low, sitting at 28. Yeah, it's pretty low. Like, um, she has 5 death and 30 res. And, um, you can kind of use her with a Brave Axe if you use her in a horse setting. Mm -hmm. I want this very make, to make it clear. It, outside of a horse setting, Brave Axe will not work properly. Yeah, it's not that. You, you can use it, you can use it, and it can work, but... For me, she she is very very close to B tier, but she manages to just 
ink it up, you know, get that little little bit over the over the hump I, and get I mean, up to A. I mean, I've seen someone clear um, Chemist, uh, Chemist GHB in Lunatic yeah. with only a Titania and three dancers, so, you know. Yeah, she but, can do I mean, she, You know, that's the one thing I, I think a lot of people don't seem to realize with tier lists is that even though the characters, you know, ranked A, B, C, D, S, whatever, um... I mean, I ranked Apollo as an A tier, and my Apollo is currently 4 star plus 8. <laughs> and, and doing she, really well. She's wrecking shit, sitting at like 36, uh, 37 defense and 36 res. Oh my god. With a Brave Sword Plus, sitting with 47 attack and 37 uh, speed, like... Yeah. It's ridiculous. Oh boy. Well... That's our tier list for now. One gr one good news that came out of this when it came came to green units, at least no unit is a C. Yep. That's a plus. Like, the, only, the only unit I ranked C before was Baruka, and that was before I realized just how good she can be. Yeah. Like, so. just one plus ten unit, I actually, well, I mean, after that I kind of experienced with it. Like, <laughs> if, if I would just consider that plus ten unit, I would probably have ranked her as possibly S. Yeah. Uh, by the way, if you're curious, I rank Baruka toward the top of A, not the bottom. No. But, uh, yeah, she's a she's a really good tank. <laughs> it's it's surprising, though, because there's a lot of green unit I did not expect them to be good, like Frederick. I looked at his yeah. stats. <laughs> I mean, a lot of these units I didn't actually think... Like, whenever I see Barst and Bartray, I'm like, oh, God, not again. But they they can be decent units, you know? They're not bad at all. Yeah, B Bartray is just, I actually, they are both good Brave Axe units. Yeah. What a surprise. Brave Axe is, like, so good for uh, Axe units, it's stupid. <laughs> Alrighty, well, guys, that's the end of our tier list. If you enjoyed it, feel free to leave a like. And, uh, you know, tell us in the comments how wrong we got it. In case you get mad, feel free to use cap lock, caps lock, and I will give you Jay's email so you can just send oh, him no. all the threatening messages that you want without me having to see them. <laughs> don't worry, I don't look at my mail, so it's just going. Oh, to good. Be... Well, that's sorted then. <laughs> just, I just... mean, like I, last time I looked at my mail, I had like fucking five thousand uh, message on red. I'm like, okay, like like all of them are from Discord, and I'm like. <laughs> Okay, get the fuck out okay, of Okay, then, um, actual snail mail, I will send you his address. Alright, guys, see you soon! Shit! Yeah.